Since November 2009, the Blue Yeti has basically been the golden standard for USB microphones, especially for content creators, whether you're YouTubers or live streamers. I guess around that time it was just in TV before it was changed over to Twitch. But this microphone was virtually uncontested in the space for the longest time. Now fast forward to 2021 and there are a lot of competitors in the $100 to $150 high-end USB market. You've got the HyperX Quadcast, you've got the Elgato Wavelength, which has integration with the Stream Deck, and more or less is kind of a budget USB Go XLR, which is pretty cool. But the Blue Yeti still outsells all of them and is still lauded as one of the best USB microphones of all time. Test, test. Test to my testes. One, two. Buckle my shoe. What is going on, Stallions? Welcome to the Gamer Heaven, where we focus on the past, present, and future of gaming. So this right here is a Blue Yeti Blackout. This was my daily driver for two and a half years before I made the jump to an XLR using a mixer or audio interface and of course an XLR microphone. Now what makes the Yeti incredibly impressive is a couple of things. First of all, it is very, very versatile. It has four pickup patterns back here. Now granted, this is kind of a marketing gimmick because if you are using this for streaming or YouTubing where you're a one man or woman show, 99.9% .9 of the time, that's a pretty high percentage. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna keep this bad boy in its cardioid pattern because you just want to pick up your voice you don't want to you don't want to pick up your keyboard clicking or your vent from your air conditioning. But the fact is, this is very versatile. You toss this into a backpack or a laptop bag, you meet somebody at a coffee shop for an interview, and you're able to set your pickup pattern into bi-directional, where it'll pick up your voice from the front, as well as your interview subject from the back. <laughs> or you're doing some nature videography, and you want to be able to set this bad boy on a stand in the middle of the forest or whatever you're in, pick up sounds of birds making love and wind rustling through the trees, then you put this in omnidirectional and it picks up 360 degrees. That also works with a meeting or video conference where you put this bad boy in the center of the table and it picks up all the executives around the round table. Or if you like to do ASMR and whisper sweet nothing into your viewers ears, you know, <laughs> then you put this in stereo mode. You have lag free real time audio monitoring with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, a mute button in the front, and then a built in gain knob on the back. It has everything you need and nothing you don't. Not to mention the build quality is insane. This is incredibly rugged. I'm using all of my strength to squeeze this capsule right now. There's no flex or bend in it, and it does have a somewhat decent built-in pop filter. Granted, you are still gonna wanna get yourself a foam condom or sleeve for it, or an external pop filter for your plosives. This thing is completely plug and play, requires no drivers or any software programs. They do have an application called Blue Sherpa, which lets you do a couple of tweaks to the sound profile. However, I strongly recommend just using third-party plugins. For example, I use Reaper plugins, which is a free program. I will have that linked in the description below. Those are the VST plugins that I was using for the longest time. Basically a compressor, an equalizer, and a noise gate to cut out the background noise of my room before I made the jump to XLR where I'm using, where I could start using physical audio processing tools like a de-esser. Not to mention the Blue Yeti has an extremely large aftermarket support system where you can get different stands. This works with virtually any boom arm. I have the Blue Compass back there, but it works with a Rode PSA or the Gator Frameworks. And since your microphone is seen on stream, this is a very handsome device. This is the blackout version, which I personally like that matte murdered out look. However, they have several other bright, vibrant colors as well to match your color setup, to match your theme setup for your game room, which is pretty cool. But in 2021, when you guys are building out your streaming setup, this is something that I want you to keep in mind. Most USB microphones, good name brand USB microphones between the $100 and $150 price range, so the HyperX, the Elgato Wave, the Blue Yeti, Yeti Nano, Yeti Nano S, the Blue Snowball, all of these microphones sound virtually identical because they are USB microphones. The performance ceiling is much, much lower than something like an XLR microphone where you have, than something like an XLR microphone where you have an external preamp as well as a analog to digital converter that are working externally of the body of the microphone. So all that's encased within the body of the microphone itself when you're using a USB microphone. And all these microphones handle it virtually the same. So why is the Blue any better than any of those other microphones? Well, it really isn't. HyperX Quadcast is virtually identical to this. It has four pickup patterns, which again, kind of a marketing gimmick because you're always gonna keep it in cardioid pattern anyway. But Blue is a solid, reliable brand. When you think of 
decades of experience in the sound space. You think of Rode, you think of Shure, and you think of Blue. Not to mention the out of the box plug and play sound profile that you are gonna get from a Blue Yeti is is very, very good, especially when you start dropping in those VST plugins to get yourself that crisp, clean, rich, radio-esque presence. Like these are all things that I think are more beneficial to the streamer than a Go XLR. Like, don't get me wrong. Ah, oh, damn, dog, you got a Go XLR? <laughs> what can you do with that thing? Do you wanna come through and do what we do? Do you, do you? Do I personally recommend the Blue Yeti? Yes. There's a reason I still have this microphone. I haven't sold it, I haven't given it away, and I'm keeping it as a backup in case my XLR ever goes down. The mic sounds good, does what it's supposed to, and is very, very easy to use. Drop in the comment section below your guys' preference when it comes to a USB microphone. There is no wrong answer to this. It's all personal preference. Maybe you're a HyperX guy, or maybe you're an Audio Technica girl. If you guys enjoy this video, liking it helps it to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly, greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a ton of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.